I'm not looking for pity. Huh? And I'll tell you something else. I serve my country. Oh, that was you? Yeah, yeah. It's like everybody else. I guess the only difference is when we came back, there wasn't parades or fireworks or invitations to the White House. There's no thanks for our service. It's like we fought for someone else's country, you know, like, I don't know, like we didn't count. All right, welcome back. That was a look at the all new inspirational film, The Long Game, and prepare yourself for a roller coaster of emotions. Now, the film is based on a true story about a group of young Mexican American caddies who decide to fight against the odds to get in the game. Our next guest is starring in the film. Please help us welcome to the studio, Jay Hernandez. I'm curious, why did you want to be a part of this project? Why was it so important to you to tell this story? Well, uh, I mean, there's there's a there's a long-winded way uh, version to answer that question, but I think you know it's just uh, one of those things where uh, oftentimes the uh, Mexican American, Latin American stories get ignored by Hollywood, and uh, being that I'm a in a position of, of being able to make some of these things happen, I felt like it was sort of my responsibility to, to tell stories like this. And, and also to sort of like, you know, counterbalance the, the oftentimes negative rhetoric surrounding the community. So I, I just felt like a movie like this was important to make. And it reminds me of the, the civil rights movement movies mm. that were made about the 60s and stuff, but it also sheds a light on, it was more than just African Americans who were having tough times in this country. What's your hope and your message that you want people to walk away with? Uh, I think, you know, it, we live in such a polarized time and, and, and politics is very caustic. And I think uh, ultimately, I need, you know, people, I just want people to be inspired. So well, why do you think it's taken so long for Hollywood to get the message? I don't know. I wish I had the answer to that. I mean, <laughs> you know, it's, uh, I've been in the business for over 20 years and I kept hearing about things that were supposed to happen in terms of representation. And I think, I think now it's, it's starting to happen, but you know, there's a real lack of sort of infrastructure and mentorship um, in, in different a aspects of the business. So I feel like, um, you know, we're getting there, but there's still a lot of work to do. 20 years, long successful career, and yeah. you ended up in the White House yeah. with your cast for a screening. How was that? <laughs> well, that's amazing, the clip you played right now, you know, uh, it's like, we don't get invitations to the White House. And it's ironic because we actually uh, screened the movie yesterday at the White House. Nice. Oh, wow. uh, got a private tour of the Oval Office, wow. had, had a private meeting with uh, the Vice President Kamala. It was such um, a surreal, powerful uh, experience for me that I will ever, forever have, you know, like beyond the movie and, and my career. <clears throat> but uh, yeah, it was humbling. It was humbling to be in that space and to, to know the amount of power and influence that, that that space has and to know that they, you know, they, they chose to screen our film there. I mean, I, I was just, it was, it was humbling, and I felt this sense of pride of, of being an American. And, and another sort of like facet to the story is, is understanding, you know, um, what it means to be an American. And I think that the stories are diverse, and we're all, we're really a country of immigrants, and just, just telling sort of an immigrant story. But, uh, you know, the American experience is vast, and, and, and um, I think this is just one sort of expression of it. And we're all one Absolutely. at the end of the day, mm -hmm. yeah. as Eva would say. <laughs> yeah. I had to take her line. I knew she was going to say it. We're all one at the end of the day. Yeah. And we're all Americans. Yes, That's we true. are. Yeah. I mean, you know, ultimately, this is an American story. It's not, you know, a, a Mexican-American story, a Latin-American story. That's a part of the conversation, but this is just another American story that, needs, that needed to be told. You're the man, Jay. <laughs> Appreciate it. So lovely to have Thank you for having me. And The Long Game will be released in theaters tomorrow. So go check it out. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.